Hi, I'm uh, Kent Peterson. This is my wife, Christine. We uh, are people who live in Issaquah. We get around uh, via what uh, is called active transportation. That means we get around under our own muscle power. Bike commuting is something we've been doing for years. It's something that we heartily, heartily recommend. It's uh, good for the environment. It's good exercise. It saves you a ton of money, and it's just plain fun. Um, Christine, why don't you tell the folks a little bit about your bike and your bike commute? All right. First, my bike is a Trek Alant. I love this bike, and I'm going to talk about a few things that make it a good commuting bike for me. Lights. Even if you don't need them in the dark, fog, rain, anything like that, you need them. Ride with lights. Gears. If your commute has hills, you need to have gears that are low enough that you can get up and down without doing too much work before you get to work. And your local bike shop can help you figure that out too. Yes, the bell. This is a good thing to have on your bike so you can let people know that you are coming. Pedestrians, anybody on a trail where you ride, just ring the bell. And ring it far back enough that they will be able to hear you, register what it is, and move to one side, and then you can safely pass. Very important here in the Pacific Northwest, fenders. If you are going to be, this just lets me ride to work rain or shine without getting water all over me. Bike helmet. Always ride with a helmet. Protect your head if you are so unfortunate as to fall off your bike or get in a crash, and it is the law here in King County where we live. Also, never leave home without a lock for your bike. Other things I carry on my bike, if you take your lunch to work, my lunch box fits right in here. Again, be prepared for rain. I carry a rain jacket always, even on days like this, because I don't trust the weather around here. And rain pants. They roll up in a little bag, easy to stuff in my pack. But if I come out of work and it's raining, put on the pants and the jacket, turn on the lights, and I'm good to go. Also, water bottle. I don't really need water on my short commute, but if you commute on longer days, be sure always to have plenty of water, especially this time of year, it's hot, and it's important to stay hydrated when you're biking. Um, the stops, also, one thing, obey all traffic laws all the time. Come to a full stop at the stop signs, the stop lights. People get negative views about cyclists because they see somebody run a light that hostility and that safety risk don't help anybody. It won't get you to work that much faster. So obey all the laws all the time. Signal your turns. Be predictable. Don't weave in and out of traffic. Let people know your intentions. Pay attention. Be courteous to everybody. Be pleasant. Uh, finally, there's an excellent website that I recommend called BicycleSafe.com. And if you can't remember that, just Google how not to get hit by cars and you'll find it. And that's just a terrific site with a lot of good common sense advice on how to ride predictably, sanely, and safely. So enjoy your bike commute. Have a great day.